In this episode of the Online Classroom, we'll look at how functional architecture applies to the systems approach to a straightforward problem, and that was keeping a lawn neat. And this sits into the conceptual system analysis topic. The system architecture, or also known as the functional allocation, depending on what level you're applying the hierarchy, is a breakdown of the system into a functional hierarchy. So we're really going to look at the different functions and how you might allocate them into different hierarchies. So we should start with a top level description of our system. So lawnmower system seems an appropriate name for that. I then broken it up into four logical subsystems and I've chosen the system operator. So this is the person that uses the system, the cutting system. So this might be the mechanisms associated with cutting the grass, the locomotion system, which could be the way that the lawnmower moves and the local environment, which would be the lawn or the yard that you're trying to mow. If we expand the operator system, we end up with perhaps two relevant subsystems or units. The first being the knowledge portion. So you need to have some sort of knowledge on how to use the system. And then you've got the physical system, which is how the system operator uses the device. If we look at the cutting system, it's a bit more complicated. There might be three subsystems or units that make up the system. When thinking about how these are separated, we should look for a minimal amount of interaction between the blocks so that they're as independent as possible. This will allow for good modularity. So for example, if a new fastener comes along, we can just insert that in and not have to worry too much about the interactions between the other units. If we extend the drivetrain, then we end up with these subsystems. Note that in itself the motor is a complex system and this might mean that it needs to be included in the hierarchy at a higher level. But perhaps the motor is a simple system and it sits nicely under the drivetrain. The hierarchy process is not an overly difficult process, but different companies will use different strategies to categorise the functions and this will eventuate in different strategic goals and task allocations. So here's the hierarchy that I use, system operator, cutting system, locomotion system, and local environment. And you can quite easily see how you might have a different set of uh, hierarchies where you have the users, the equipment, the maintenance resources, and the knowledge resources. The key idea is that you're able to provide a logical hierarchy. So a recap of the key ideas from the functional allocation. First, group your functions and subsystems into logical structure for your project, and that's likely to be different for every project, and that the interactions between the systems should be minimal to improve modularity. Make sure you check out the reading for this online classroom and complete the self-tests which are available on Waddle. See you next time.